foundation on and concealer. Now I'm just going to take my Cody Airspun and set it. Now today I'm not going to set my eyes. I'm just going to leave the concealer on it without setting it. I'm going to take my brush. Face with some powder, just to set my um, foundation. I used the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and concealer, and then I used the Cody Airspun powder, of course. So today I'm going to use the Anastasia, Anastasia, however you pronounce it, soft glam palette. I know a lot of you guys probably have this. Um, so I figured you guys could just follow along, and if you don't, then hey, you can check it out and see if you want it. Okay, so here is the palette. I got this for Christmas, so um, yeah, I wanted to try it out for you guys. I do have some exciting news. The um, sorry, I have a yellow shirt on underneath this, which does not match at all. But I was like freezing, so I just threw this one because it was the very first thing I came across. Um, but I did um, buy some Morphe foundation and concealer because it just came out today, which I am so excited for. Um, and my dumbass went and bought the foundation and concealer and then didn't even get my um, my eyebrow pencil that I've been wanting and haven't bought because I didn't want to pay shipping on it when it's only like five bucks. And I didn't want to pay six dollars shipping on a five dollar item. But I didn't get it. I fucking totally forgot. I'm such an idiot. So, I guess it's L'Oreal for now. As I entered a giveaway for the Wet n Wild, I thought I won Day 24, which was a whole set of shadow palettes and makeup and all different kinds of stuff. But I didn't. I won Day 21, which was the Wet n Wild Body Luminizers. Which, I'm not as happy because I was kind of excited for the other stuff. But, you know a giveaway I won so I'm I'm happy regardless of what it was so in this collection we have three um three luminizers in which one is this gold rush heart of oh yeah heart of rose gold and invested in bronze and then we got a little kabuki pressure to rub it all in so I'm thinking towards the end of the video, um, maybe like trying that out. So it says lightweight and non-sticky, allows for easy application. Uh, the formula lets you mix your favorite shades together or add a few drops to your go-to moisturizer to get that one-of-a-kind all-year-round summer glow. Buildable, use one drop for a subdoluminous sheen or two to three drops for a glow for the God's effect packed with beneficial oils and vitamins to help moisturize, protect, and nourish the skin with a special blend of macadamia oil, sunflower seed oil, passion fruit seed oil, grape seed, I can't talk, grape seed oil, argan oil, and vitamin E. Lightly scented, formulated with rose fragrance, which I did smell it. It definitely has a rose scent to it, so application tips shake well prior to application for the ultimate radiant glow apply a desired amount directly onto skin and blend with the wet and wild kabuki brush to create an irresistible sun-kissed look any time of the year and this did come out in september september 27th and it would be in walmart stores in october so it's not super super new but it is pretty new Got this little paper here. We will try that out to end. Maybe I'll put some like on my chest. I have super dry skin, so on my face. Um, I don't know. I might have put too much because I put like a drop here, drop here, drop here, drop here. Anyway, I put like four drops. And I think it might be alright with like a matte matte foundation. But this Born This Way foundation, it's not, it don't like it's not matte. Um, and it is a lot of transfer proof. Maybe with SD Lauder, I don't know, but my foundation well, it felt like it was slipping around a little. Um, but as far as the skin, I put it on my hands and like my 
my hands are like super dry and I put it on my hands and it, it did make a difference and it did stay um, really soft and had that little shine to it all day so I really like that I just don't know if it's necessarily good for the face now I'm gonna try it again and just put like maybe like one little drop and that might be a different story so maybe if I just used a little bit less it would be better then I'll let you know my thoughts in like another video or something because of course I'm not gonna do it today I already got my face done do my brows really quick so since I never got my Morphe one which I wouldn't have had it yet anyway but um I'm going in with the Lorel the Lorel one I can't talk um that I really don't care for it does the job but it's not my favorite but it does work it could be worse I guess I have seen some that were way worse and it's like way more waxier so it does the job so let me do this really quick. Okay, so since we have brows done finally, let's go ahead and dip into the palette. So I think I'm gonna go into the color Mulberry. Oh, first off, since we didn't set our concealer, let's make sure that it is rubbed in and you ain't got no creases. This color is dark. So I have this look that I want to create with the James Charles palette. Dipping into the blues and the greens. And I have a thought in my head. And so don't get mad if I do that look next. Um, but I really want to do it. So we're going to and y'all might be tired of seeing looks with the James Charles palette but you can like create so many different looks with it and yeah that's what I want to do oh and then we'll also we also have the other Juvia's Place palette that we're going to do a look with okay oh I always forget So when you don't set your concealer, <clears throat> it um, pretty much pretty much makes it um, more pigmented. So it'll make the collar stick to it more and be um, more vibrant. So if you find that some of the collars that you're using is not as vibrant, try um, putting you know concealer or primer, whatever you guys use. But if you do use concealer, try putting it on and not setting it and it will make it more more vibrant because if you put powder on it of course it's going to be more drier so if you get your brush wet when you're dipping in the colors it makes it more vibrant so that's pretty much the same and it's not going to be like so dry your eyes not going to be so dry so it makes sense Now I think I'm going to go into this burnt orange and then we're going to use this to blend it out. Um, I do notice that the palette is really soft, like the shadows are really soft and there is quite a bit kickback, um, which doesn't bother me, just whatever you prefer. And then we're just going to take this and go over the edges. Just blend it out. Okay, now I'm going to dip back into that same shade of the mulberry.
I'm just going to grab a fluffier brush and go over everything. Okay, so I want to darken that up a little bit more. So I'm going to try to go into the dark brown first and we'll see how it works. And if it don't work how I want it, then we'll go into the black. I'm super excited thinking I want all that because I always tend to get the high end makeup, higher end makeup. Um, but I love drugstore makeup and I love trying, you know, drugstore makeup that actually works and where people don't have to go out here and spend a ton of money on um, a shadow palette or a bronzer or, you know, because even though we love makeup, some of us don't want to wear that every single day where we're just using a $40 foundation or um, a $40 shadow palette, you know, if we're not going to be doing nothing, but we still want to look cute, you know? So that's why I try, I am going to try to bring more drug store stuff into, um, sorry. I'm going to try to bring more drugstore um, items into my videos now. I think it looks pretty blended out. Oh, I cannot wait to get this foundation and concealer from Morphe. I just wish I would have got my brow pencil. I'm so upset. Like, Morphe, you just need to send me... A brow pencil okay I know I'm not relevant to you and I'm not that big but it's five dollar brow pencil and I would love it if you would just send me one please I'm done mm, so the very first color I'm gonna go into is the Sina or whatever the hell it's called right here and I'm just gonna put that so you know what no I'm gonna go into orange soda and we're just gonna lay this on the eye. I think I'm liking that. So I'm going to dip a little bit back in that dark brown. And I'm just going to swipe this over. We're going to start off in the outer crease. And then we're just going to take it in and swipe it over that collar. Okay, now you can leave it like this if you just want an all matte look or you can add some, you know, some of the glitter shades, which that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to spray my brush with some Fix Plus. I'm going to go in with this color, Glistening, and we're just going to place this starting at the bottom and then bring it up in the middle.
have you guys ever noticed when you guys are doing these give or entering these giveaways so like on Instagram or whatever? It feels like I, I'm not talking about like um, wet and loud or whoever, you know, because I know that I just want to give away from them. But have you ever noticed that like it seems that people are winning that really don't need them, or maybe not even a big of a supporter as you are? Um, I don't know. It just seems a little weird to me. Like, okay, so this one giveaway I seen, okay, it was for a hair product. And they said, um, um, tag your friend that has good hair. And I'm like, okay. Mm, they don't really make much sense to me. So I wrote on there, like, hey, um, I mean, I'll tag my friend that has good hair, but what sense does that really make? Tag your friend with good hair. Um, if you are wanting people to try out your product and let people win to try out your product and maybe even give you like great reviews um, and you know spread the word for you, why would you already want them to have good hair? So it makes you look good? Like you've done all that? You know, like why not give it to somebody that would actually need it so you could see real results? versus giving it to somebody that already has good hair that maybe will give you good results or good um reviews my bad maybe give you good reviews but you didn't do that pretty weird to me anyway i couldn't resist of saying something because i thought that was freaking crazy that they're saying tag your friend with good hair so your friend could oh yeah and guess you won <clears throat> A girl with beautiful long dark hair a little funny to me Let's or how about the one where they say tag your friends but they have to be following us too so because I'm following you and I've been following you for however long and liking all your posts and supporting you and loving your products I can't win the giveaway unless my friend follows you as well. Half my friends don't follow nobody because they want, <clears throat> they don't want to be following as many people as people are following them. You know what I'm saying? You know how the Instagram world is. So they won't hardly follow people. But just because they are not following you, I can't win your giveaway. That's bullshit. I hate that. So, or, hey, you gotta be following us, which is perfectly fine, because I agree with that. And follow everybody listed, or every, or okay, maybe, you gotta be following us and follow everybody that we are following. Why? Oh, goodness gracious. <clears throat> There's so many like little things that I just like dislike. Like for one, <clears throat> be fair in your giveaways, okay? Which some of them probably are, and a lot of them probably are. I don't know, but okay. So like me, right now, I mean, I got 171 followers or subscribers or whatever. To me, I'm just a regular old person. I'm not big. Um, these companies don't know who I am, nor do they, do they care who I am. Um, you know, I'm not benefiting them in any way probably so to me I'm just a regular old person now say how many ever years down the line I end up getting more subscribers and hopefully one day end up getting PR I mean damn I spend so much money on makeup hopefully one day but <clears throat> if I do it wouldn't be fair to me for me to enter giveaways like that of course because I'm getting makeup or I'm getting some sort of income or you know whatever um, so it wouldn't be fair to me to enter them giveaways. And if I did enter the giveaways, it definitely wouldn't be fair for me to win. True? Okay. It should be one of you guys out there that's not doing this and not getting PR or whatever that wins. Um, yeah, I'm doing YouTube right now, but I feel that I spend so much money to try to do the videos that I do enter some giveaways just so I could try to get some products to try out for you guys. Um, which... I've entered a ton and I've only won twice. I won an Ofra one and I won Wet n Wild one. I think that's it, yeah. Anyway, 
but yeah once I got bigger or whatever I wouldn't dare to enter the giveaway because that's just not fair I'm a big person on fairness and sometimes I don't think the companies are fair I think they um, see what benefits them and which is fine on certain circumstances but on your giveaways I think it should be All right, I think I'm done with the top. I'm gonna go into the color burnt orange. In the color mulberry. I'm going to dip back in my collar, the burnt orange. Blend them out. Now, of course, I'm going into my absolute favorite, if I can get it out which is the Ofra Bahu palette, and they came out with a new eyeshadow palette. I am going to get it. I was going to get the Alien palette, but it was sold out at Morphe. So I was like, oh well, I can get the Francesca. Francesca? Oh my god, I can't talk. Like, I'm a hillbilly, okay? So, like, please don't mind my talking. Um, but anyway, and they have a new palette that looks so gorgeous, so... We're going to get that and we're going to try that out. All right, so I'm going to take some highlighter. I'm actually going to take, I want it a little bit lighter, so I'm going to take a little bit of a glazed donut. Just a little, a little something, something. So the highlighter that I went or went into up here is the big one which I am which is Rodeo Drive the big one right there I went up on top of the brow um, and I, that's the one I put in the middle but I wanted a little bit lighter so I'm also going to take a little bit Okay. I'm gonna stop on that for a second and we're gonna go ahead and do eyeliner so I'm gonna go into the Maybelline New York Eye Studio my favorite gel liner Jacqueline Hill actually got me turned on to that and I have loved it ever since so I'm gonna do that really quickly and I'll be right back okay eyeliner is on probably not my best work but But it would do. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my mascara really quick. Okay, now let's go back into the Bahoo palette. And we're going to grab up the blush that is in there.
I'm gonna grab the bronzer. Okay, now I'm gonna um, grab the two highlighters that is in on the Bahu palette and my glazed donut, and I'm gonna mix them all together and then I'm gonna put it on my face. Why my eyes are like so bloodshot right now okay so i went a little hard on the highlighter here lately i've been kind of like using a little bit of highlighter and it's been working out really good for me but i went a little hard so we're just going to spray some of that and let everything soak in And just put a little bit here so if you're wearing like a shirt or a dress or anything that shows your bones right here collar bones whatever you want to call them um you can put a little bit of highlighter on there and it'll shine it up a little bit and even on the top of your shoulders wow i am waiting on that to dry to oh my goodness look my mascara is coming off on my bottom eye uh, Oh well, this is night time and um, a bitch ain't gotta do anything, so, but yeah. Definitely came off, you really can't fuck with it a whole lot right now until it's been a while, it's dried, it's hardened up, so, if you see it, act like you don't see it. Okay, so, we have... Mm -hmm. Hearts of Rose Rose Gold, which is the one I used. It says to make sure you shake it up because you can tell in the bottle. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's definitely separated. So let's just shake it, 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 shake it. Let's make sure we get it shook up good. Okay, and then we got this. Kabuki brush that we use to rub it in. So we're going to do everything right. Okay, so I didn't put no lotion or anything on my hands just because I wanted to see how this works. But I don't know if you guys can see, but my hands are like super, super, super dry. You'll definitely be able to tell the shininess when I put this on. So, okay, it doesn't come like a, a pump or anything like that. It's just like this little stick. Thing, which is pretty weird but um hey it works so you just dot a little bit on and that's what it looks like the rosy gold color and rub it in definitely smell the uh, rose the rosy scent definitely can smell it Okay, so I'm trying to figure out if this has like any kind of like changing colors, like if it's got like any tint to it or anything, because I see like there's like an invested in bronze. Okay, so definitely shiny. Um, I can see like a little bit of sparkle, like maybe a few here and there. Not much at all, but it's definitely... Um, definitely looks more hydrated on this hand than this one okay so this one of course doesn't have any and you can definitely see like you could definitely see that it's got something I think if I would have put some lotion on and then maybe put that over it it would have been better um, I want to see though if there's like different if like there's different colors or like if they change colors so let's try this one first oh my goodness i'm gonna break off freaking out it is whew, gold rush it 
looks like a yellow um looks very very pretty i don't know if you guys can see that my camera's shit but like i said we have a new camera coming hopefully next month so anyway it says shake it up super good so that's what we're gonna do here i'm gonna also take And just put a little line here yeah you can definitely see that it does help okay so this one's here the gold one is gonna be in the middle and then we'll put the bronze on the end but can you guys see them okay another thing I want to know is the lid it feels like once I go to tighten it back on it just and used to keep turning instead of locking back on so it might easily come out okay well let's try this one I wish they would have included like some sort of like pump or um, maybe like even like a brush tip on the bottom of it like necessarily wouldn't have to be a pump or anything like that but you could just like on the have one of these things kind of and then just put like a like a little oh my gosh Okay, so anyway, have one of these things and then just put like a little brush tip on it. Yeah. It says, don't worry, shake well. Y'all should give this video a like if you want wet while I'm sending you some stuff. I'd be super happy. I would review, review it all for you. Okay, whoa, a little messy this one is. Um comes out like that it's kind of a little messy so let's put it right here on the hand take our kabuki brush okay so this one definitely um has more of a sheen more of a sparkle and it's got it's like yellow sparkle so let's take a little bit of this Holy cow. Oh, really? I literally just mixed it in with the other one. Kind of messy. Okay, so um, I kind of mixed it in with the other one because it literally was like going everywhere. So. It is what it is. Definitely can see more of the gold sheen. Um, that one I feel like was a little bit more liquidy. Um, but you could obviously tell that it was more runny. So we'll let it dry here for a minute. Let's see if the load will actually close on this one. Nope, that one's done the same thing. Okay, and then this one right here is, which one was this? Invested in bronze. I'm going to take my tweezers again so I can take my teeth. I feel like if I didn't have nails, this would be like so much easier. I used to have real nails, but they like kept breaking off, so I just got tired of it. And so whatever, I used to like bite my nails for years. And then I stopped, started like growing them out. I was super happy about it. And then they just like started breaking off left and right. So this one's the bronzy one. Let's shake it up. I'm gonna look so shiny. Okay, so that one doesn't feel like it's drying down as much. I definitely think the rose gold would be better because it just gives you that moisturized look. But it's not too greasy. This one doesn't look that greasy. But when I touch my skin, it feels a little greasy. But maybe it's just because I have too much on, too, by now, you know? I kind of mixed them all together and everything. So, it might just be that. Okay, let's try not to make a mess. This thing is just, like, so freaking messy. I'm sorry. Went around. Love your products, but it's so messy. Okay, so the bronze one looks like that. Okay, so this one definitely gives you more um, of more color. 
so if you're deeper skin this would just give you more of a shine and kind of match your tone but if you want a little bit of collar and you're pale as fuck like me you could also do that so this one has the deep see it's not much of a difference my hands itching off not sure why I think you see like red dots on my on my arm on my hand which one was that that was the gold the gold one I think because I put the rose gold one over here and then the gold one was mainly right here and something's happening yeah something's definitely happening um I don't feel any it's definitely just the gold one I think it's probably the gold one if you look at my hand can you guys see All right, if you look at my hand, do you guys see the redness? I got my hand at like a weird angle right now. But anyway, I got the lighting down. There's red all through here and it's kind of got like a little itchy. Um, I don't think it's anything too majorly. I think it's just because my skin was so dry and, and maybe it was because I didn't put no lotion on because I normally put lotion on like every single day. Um, but my other part of my hands didn't do that. I think it's just a gold one, but it's starting to not itch as much now, so it's starting to settle. We would definitely figure that out. I'm not going to put no more up in here. But look, it didn't do it up there. It was just my hand. So I'm thinking maybe it's just because my hands were so, so dry. Okay. Okay. Um. It doesn't look like it's happening anywhere else, and I did put the gold up there and a good bit of it. Uh, it's just right there on my hands and that little spot. But, mm, is your, I mean, I love you, went loud. I wish you would just, like, send me some stuff that I can really, like, work with. Um, it does got, like, a little weird rose smell. Um, I don't, I think these would be good maybe in the summer or, you know, even in the winter, I guess. Um, maybe a little bit on your chest or maybe even on your hands I would think but really you don't want too much of a grease on your hands so maybe like on your legs or your feet or you know right here where you want a little greased up um but other than that it's not something that I would necessarily reach for all the time or necessarily need so it's really up to you I think I am just going to go without a lipstick today and just kind of stick with this going on. Um, you could put um, a nude collar. Um, I think nudes go with anything. So just throw you a nude on and you set to go. You, I would say more of like a brownish nude. You could even have like a little bit of pink in it, but more of a brownish nude. And I think that would look fine. Okay guys, so this right here is the final look. Um, I will tell you what happens here and post my final thoughts on that. Um, it's like that with me I mean I really don't know um the gold one probably not I probably wouldn't need anything, anything to do with that I think my favorite here because I did use this kind and it worked perfectly fine which was the rose gold so that's probably my favorite and maybe the bronze one but the gold I don't like it I don't care for it I have super sensitive skin and that just wasn't reacting well on my hands. Everywhere else, it reacted fine. Just on my hand. So, anyway, this right here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. So, I love you guys. And I will see you guys next time.